Hey, James, it's Jamie. Good morning, Chef Jamie Gwynn. What do you have for us today, my friend? Give us all the details on everything. Well, you got it. Good morning, my friend. Happy spring to you. Okay, I am in the mood for a little lighter fare. I am embracing the season. I love a spring meal because it's fresh and bright and just as the season should be. So I brought you some new finds. I also have a leveled up recipe you're going to want. And when it comes to trends, because we always like to be on trend, we're seeing a lot of global flavor influence. So you're going to start seeing more and more products that have that ethnic influence. We're welcoming everyone to our table, but you got to check this out. There is a, a brand, a line called Tata Rasa, and they're expanding throughout the U.S. with their ready-to-eat Indian meals, and they are so delicious, James. So think of like very progressive packaging. It's actually a bag that you tear the top off of, but they're ready in 60 seconds, it is a vegetarian Indian dish. There's actually four of them that you get to choose from. Royal black lentils. They make a rich coconut lentil, a regal chickpea tikka, and a majestic red bean curry. And it could be a vegetarian main dish or a vegetarian side dish. I happen to take it to my office for lunch because I think it's so delicious. I'm thoroughly addicted now. Um, I like rice or naan with it, but it really is a nice way to expand the flavor profile of your holiday table. So look for pata rasa. Now, when it comes to leveling up your own dishes, because I think when you're serving Indian food, you've definitely leveled up. But let's say you have a recipe that you think you should take to the next level. I did just that. So spring is like quintessential deviled egg season, right? But I didn't want to make like the same old deviled egg. So I took my love for Pearl's olives, because if you're not adding a little bit of olive brine to the egg yolk mixture, you're missing out. And I made sun-dried tomato and feta deviled eggs. So that creamy egg yolk mayonnaise mixture has the infusion of sun-dried tomatoes and feta. I also did one with pesto and capers. And then I topped them with Kalamata olives and the new Pearl's Castelvoltrano olive, which is an Italian olive. If you've not had it before, they are so buttery and so beautiful. And you know that I love Pearl's because we've been friends a long time now, but there is a really big variance of quality when it comes to olives. Please buy the best you can because you want texture, you want flavor, you want all those good things. Pearls hand picks and hand stuffs their olives, which I really appreciate. They also do a black olive, which you know my four-year-old loves. So the deviled egg recipe I call Mediterranean deviled eggs, and we've posted it at dailylounge.com. And then we can't forget about dessert. And I found something new that is now my new addiction. So it's a spoonable dessert treat called Jar Joy. It comes in a box, you get six jars, and it is a multi-layer dessert. So they have lots of flavors. I love the peanut butter cup. It has chocolate cookie cake crumbles, whipped peanut butter cream, and this rich Swiss chocolate. They also make a raspberry cheesecake flavor, a salted caramel brownie, a Mississippi mud pie. It's called Jar Joy because each jar, I'm telling you, has so much joy in it. And it's portion size perfect. It's all premium ingredients. They're pretty fabulous. Look for them in the, they're really fabulous, I should say. Look for them in the refrigerated section of your grocery. Um, and then I've got lots of inspiration going up on social at Chef Jamie Gwen for like everything you can do with a marshmallow bunny for Easter and more. <laughs> and my Easter recipe is posted too. Uh, my Easter menu rather, I should say. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, where do we go from there in oh. You got it, dailylounge.com has it all, dailylounge.com. And thank you as always, James, thank you. Fantastic, you're so wonderful.